So hey, welcome to my vlog. Um, I hope this is allowed. So this is a new bathing suit top that I got. Staying true to having a new one for each video. This one's, it seems, ooh, seems really risky. <laughs> Honestly. Um, and then I did some beads um, that I found around because I used to do beads. Um, I used to have a lot of beads. And, um, but anyway, and then I tried a necklace. So anyway, <laughs> so, huh, so I'm a little bit shy. So this is my vlog. Um, you know, I just go into the Goodwill to look for bathing suit tops. Um, and this is all that was there. So it's a little bit small. Now for my size, you can't find clothes for the regular person. Something for my size would look like um, as unsexual as possible. And I'm telling you guys this um, to raise awareness because it's really wrong um, that says that anyone my size can't be sexy. Um, you know, because things that are my size are the most hideous um, 1950s with like, I mean, it's horrible the things that are available for the regular person, the regular person that doesn't have to spend, you know, a hundred dollars a piece for things. The regular person thrift shopping can't find anything remotely sexy in my size not remotely sexy. So that needs to change because, um, my size is probably the sexiest, but it's undercover because most people in day-to-day -day life don't get to see me like this. So you guys are definitely exclusive and, um, blessed, lucky, fortunate, honored, um, so, and I say this all the time, and I hope you don't get tired of it, that I love you. And I am so grateful to have you guys. You're the best subscribers on YouTube. That I know for sure, because your support lifts me up. It lifts me up. It, it, it gives me faith in myself. And to go against the grain in the world is, requires a lot of risk and it requires a lot of love um, because to face in the direction of fear, it, it's really scary. It's really hard. And then look at my amazing eyebrows that I did freehand, freehand. So... I want to be seen. That was the whole intention of my vlog was to be seen for me, for who I really was underneath all of that stuff, underneath all of the walls and the layers and the masks and the fears and the judgments. Um, okay. So you guys are privileged and I'm privileged to be a part of the uncovering of me. So I'm so grateful to be here and I'm so glad you're here. So, um, you know, it can be really discouraging. Life is, it like beats you down. And I, this isn't a pity party. This is just regular life. Um, you know, like it's, it's just hard with sicknesses and diseases and um, with judgments and bullies and um, pressure, um, you know? So when you've been broken already from childhood, it makes it harder. You usually get bitter. You usually 
get, um, you know, closed. So I am proud of myself that I continue on staying open, staying loving, staying, um, but I do have boundaries. I do have limitations. I am a person and you should love yourself enough to set boundaries, to say no, to say what is safe for you and comfortable for you and everything else, no. Like it is really important to feel comfortable in life and safe. Aggression and disrespect and bullying, no. Anyone judging and looking down on you is not, should not be part of your world. It will hurt your heart and it will hurt your mind and it will break the, the faith that you have and, and the openness to be vulnerable, to have the things that you want in your life, to have a quality of life. So that's what I'm all about is being an advocate for myself and for others at, by example. So I want to inspire a whole new generation, a whole new world to love and not to hate. Um, so I have been watching Survivor. In night, um, I relax and that's where I go to Survivor. And I watch a few hours of it and um, you know, I'm back into like season 20. I love it because uh, it's very international, you know, um, it, it's a lot of cultures and ages and types of people. And I love the mix. I love that. I love diversity. So, um, but it's a lot of bullying. It's a lot of judgment. It's, it's a lot of ugliness on there. All over money and money is important. It is very important in life, but your character and who you are, your heart is the most important thing in your life for a quality of life. Um, to, to be the best you, you don't look down on people, you don't hate on people, and you don't judge people. You keep your distance from people um, because out of self-love at times, but you continue to love yourself and to lift up people, even if you don't agree with them, even if they haven't treated you well, you want to lift them up. You don't have to be a doormat but you do need to stay in the energy of love. It's a high vibration. It'll keep you. So I'm just here to say, hey, happy new year. 2023 should be the best year ever. Um, I've been in a lot of pain um, in my body. I have a lower back, real bad sciatic nerves issues. Um, and But it's getting better. Because I've realized through meditation and prayer that pain has a purpose, but pain is also like physical pain can be a manifestation of inner child trauma and um, abuse, um, neglect, um, disconnection with yourself. So it requires patience. It requires nurturing, it requi requires um, connection with yourself. It requires um, supporting yourself at a whole other level, being kind and gentle to yourself. And that's what's been going on with me. And the pain, I've been allowing better into my life, allowing support in a new way and faith and hope and, and a strength in me that I've never had. You have to open your heart to it release the negative and you have to allow better into your life and you have you know so I'm and I'm, I'm really an energy worker I'm really love energy and um inner child healer so I love you guys thanks for being part of my vlog um thanks for making this the best YouTube channel ever and you guys are the best subscribers ever and your presence in my life makes a difference it's changing me. It's changing my life because it's lifting me up. So thank you for being here. I send all that love that you give me right back to you and then some.